Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March the 5th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we certainly had some rain yesterday and overnight. Uh, I had about half an inch at my house, so a nice soaking so far. More rain on the way. Let's get right to the Skycam imagery this morning, and there is the shot from Gadsden. we got a few raindrops on the lens, but the light's showing up nicely under a very cloudy sky. The streets are wet, but the rain's temporarily over at Jasper as we look at the streets there of the downtown area. And then a shot of uh, Birmingham. Almost looks like a little break in the clouds overhead right there, and, uh, and there, there could be, uh, not out of the realm of possibility. We have a cold front stretching all the way from uh, just to the southeast of Chicago all the way down to uh, south Texas. Uh, and that, uh, of course, is ahead of an upper-level system that is moving through the southern tier of the United States and through the Central Plains. And that will be moving on and uh, ending our rain later uh, t uh, later today and into tonight and, and Sunday should become a fairly nice day, although a little bit cooler. Temperatures across the country have warmed up nicely ahead of that system. You can see the 50s all the way up into the Ohio River Valley and uh, certainly a large area of 60s from Florida along the Gulf Coast. Uh, moving that freezing line way up into New England. I'm sure that they appreciate that warmth, but still very, very cold in Canada with some temperatures in the minus 30 range up there in that orange. No minus 30s in central Alabama. We're pretty uh, uniform, and we did get wedged yesterday. That's uh, the uh, cold air damming with uh, cold air coming around the southern end of the Appalachians. You can see that easterly flow, and you can see how, uh, especially in Georgia, temperatures in the 40s. Uh, that uh, that wedge kind of got us a little bit, as we were expecting it had to happen. And uh, wedge has uh, various impacts on uh, central Alabama, sometimes reaching us and sometimes not. Uh, but it looks like uh, we're not going to see a great deal of change in temperature today. On the radar this morning, uh, the big mass of rain that was affecting us uh, late yesterday and into last night has uh, is moving on past the Montgomery area. And we should see additional rain develop. As you can see, some showers filling in that gap. But there's the front back there in the vicinity of Memphis. And uh, that front responsible for a number of uh, watches and warnings, primarily flash flood and flood watches. That's the green areas. Some wind, uh, some wind advisories down in Texas and a few winter storm advisories up into uh, New York and across uh, the uh, eastern Great Lakes. Uh, QPF-wise, uh, this is going to be a, a wet system. You can see uh, the HPC guys uh, forecasting on the order of 5 inches in the vicinity of uh, the area from just south of Memphis uh, all the way up to Paducah and into southern Indiana. And, of course, that's a combination of this system and the next one. We'll be talking about that here in just a moment. Storm Prediction Center out looking for day one, a slight risk of uh, strong to severe thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast in southeastern Louisiana, uh, Alabama, northwest Florida, and southeastern uh, Mississippi. All right, let's take a look at uh, the 060 GFS model run, and here is a look at the surface conditions for today. Front won't be moving by real quick, but it will move by uh, gradually today, and you can see the position uh, still in the vicinity of Memphis by noon today. The uh, upper trough uh, heads off to our east by midday at uh, noontime on uh, Sunday. And uh, with that, uh, that should take the weather on out. And you can see the 540 line uh, coming down into Tennessee, and that will certainly cool us back off just a bit. Uh, we go a bit zonal for Monday, but that keeps us uh, dry as well, so uh, not a lot in the way of uh, warming at all going on. In the upper atmosphere, here comes our next system on Tuesday. We'll be dry Tuesday, but uh, here comes our next system there. And by uh, Wednesday, that is into the mid-Mississippi River Valley and uh, the Central Plains, and uh, that will certainly uh, bring us another round of wet weather. So this is all part of that five inches uh, that we expect to see. So it looks like a Wednesday could be another uh, wet day and uh, yeah, some some potential for the possibility of strong storms. We'll be watching that uh, as we get closer to the event. Uh, that uh, trough moves off 
into the mid-Atlantic states on uh, Thursday, so that uh, paves the way for us to uh, move out of the clouds and the rain, although it looks like a, a significant amount of wraparound clouds and moisture. Uh, so it looks like probably Thursday we should see some sun by afternoon as we, uh, as we dry out. We stay dry as the uh, GFS is suggesting that the main uh, storm track is going to move a little bit further to the north. We see that again on uh, uh, Saturday with uh, a number of different systems, but they're a little bit further to the north, so not having any significant impact on us as the high moves off uh, the Atlantic into the Atlantic um, area and uh, into the southwest Atlantic. And as it does, that means moisture begins returning once again, and that would be uh, with the possibility for uh, some uh, rain into Sunday, Monday time frame. Well, let's go out into voodoo country, and uh, here comes uh, on Monday another uh, trough, and that it's kind of a series of these going on, so no lack of action in the weather department here uh, across the southeastern U.S. and the central U.S., as a matter of fact. And so that trough comes uh, bringing us some wet weather possibly uh, on Monday the 14th. Another trough on the 17th brings us another round of some uh, relatively uh, wet weather. And then uh, we seem to dry out a little bit around the 20th as we get uh, established under a relatively large uh, ridge with a very uh, strong and closed low out over California. Well, that'll do it for this Weather Extreme video. Appreciate you tuning in. I expect to have the next one posted uh, by 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I uh, hope that you get a good amount of rain and enjoy uh, this uh, somewhat uh, cloudy, rainy day uh, and somewhat uh, cool. In the meantime, Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.